good morning students so welcome back to inverse trigonometry chapter so in previous class we studied we discussed about basic concepts of trigonometry basic concepts of trigonometry okay so here in this class we will start the introduction of inverse trigonometry so inverse trigonometry so before that before studying this inverse trigonometry we should know about the functions functions we have studied f of x y is equal to f of x function so when the inverse will be existing means so the, suppose the function f of x is both 1 1 and on to if the function f of x is 1 1 as well as on to then we can call f of x is bisective ok if it is bisective then there exists a inverse for function f that we call f inverse ok f inverse will exist f inverse means here f of x f from x to y then f inverse will be y f inverse from y to x so when it is possible it is only possible if the function f of x is both 1 1 and on to or else bisective so similarly here we will we'll discuss for inverse trigonometry here six trigonometric functions are there sine cos tan cosec sec and cot so these are the six trigonometric functions okay then for that for to define the inverse function for sine function cos function tan as well as remaining three okay for that what we'll do we'll consider the domain for sine function what is the domain of sine function we know if I consider sine function or sine x will consider y is equal to sine x is a function trigonometric function what is the domain for this domain domain is equal to so we'll write r capital r then what is range range of this sine x function is the closed interval minus 1 to plus 1 is it right so we know the graph of this trigonometric function sine function what is the graph we will draw the x and y axis here on x axis we will consider the angles ok here minus 5i2 here it is 0 plus 5i2 here pi 3 pi by 2 then 2 pi left hand side also same minus 5 minus 3 pi by 2 then minus 2 pi how the graph will be so here plus 1 here minus 1 so what is the graph for sine function so we know the table values table values if the value of sine function if x is 0 if x is 0 then sine x is also 0 if it is 5 by 2 or else before that we can consider pi by 6 the value of sine x is 1 by 2 then 5 by 4 5 by 4 means 1 by root 2 next pi by 3 root 3 by 2 pi by 2 its value is 1 so if you observe these values the value of sine function whether x value is increasing if x value is increasing then sin x is also increasing from 0 to 1 ok here the graph will be like this you can draw the graph like this 
curve okay so if you go for left hand side we know sin of minus x is equal to minus sin x sin of minus x is equal to minus sin x that's why sin of minus 5 at 0 to here the graph will decrease is here up to minus 1 like this will get so this is the graph so from minus 5 by 2 to plus 5 by 2 similarly after that 5 by 2 the graph comes down ok if it reaches 5 its value will be 0 so like this will get so left hand side this is the graph this is for sine function ok sin x will write domain is capital R means x values capital R then range the graph will be existing from minus 1 to plus 1 only in between that only that graph will be existing ok here plus 1 So this is a graph for sine function. Next, here if you restrict the range, if you restrict here, then only the function sine x function will be both 1 1 and on top. So otherwise what will happen? The function will not be 1 1 and on top. That is why suppose if you consider whole line on x axis here for minus 5 by 2 also here the value will be minus 1 if you if you consider 3 pi by 2 even the value is minus 1 so it will be like this for minus 5 by 2 and 3 pi by 2 here minus 1 0 and many values are there in between 0 and 1 so for minus 5 by 2 also minus 1 3 pi by 2 also minus 1 here the function is not on to function is not function is not 1 1 sorry function is not 1 1 so if it is not 1 1 the function is not y is equal to so inverse does not exist but according to the definition the function must be both 1 1 and onto then only inverse will exist for that for that what we will do we will restrict it we will restrict we will consider the intervals in that intervals if I consider this only this part minus 5 by 2 to plus 5 by 2 the value will not repeat this portion only from minus 5 by 2 to plus 5 by 2 so here the value will not repeat so in this interval means minus 5 by 2 to plus 5 by 2 the function f of x f of x means here sine function is 1 1 as well as onto so in this interval if it is 1 1 and onto then there exist inverse for sine function ok so that we denote it as sine inverse of x ok so if it is if inverse exists by composition of the functions f composite of f inverse of x is equal to f of f inverse of x is equal to we'll write x here ok or else you can write f inverse here f of x 
f inverse f here we'll get x means these two are inverse functions so at, at the end we'll get x this is how inverse will exist if you consider you may consider this range also pi by 2 to here minus 3 pi by 2 to minus 5 by 2 also you can consider if you consider this interval also the function will be both 1 1 and R 2 or else you can consider plus 5 by 2 to plus 3 pi by 2 and so on so e interval to no function is both 1 1 and anto so if i consider this interval then also it is 1 1 and anto y is active here also it is 1 1 and anto if you if you consider only limited portion then only both 1 1 and anto the function sine function is both 1 1 and anto then we can cons we can tell that the function there exists a inverse for that sin x function so that is sin inverse of e x okay or else arc of sin function arc sin x also you can write inverse of sin x function is that notation sin inverse of x or else arc of sin x function okay both are same now then what is the domain for sin inverse of x what is the domain for sin inverse of x domain okay suppose f from x to y here x is domain y is codomain so if i consider f inverse y to x here it is domain it is codomain okay codomain means it is both one one and anto here all elements are having pre images so this will become range here also same so y will become range of this function f so if i consider this trigonometric functions here so sin x y is equal to sin x is the function y is equal to sin x is the function then domain is we know already domain of sin x function is um, capital r set of real numbers then range is minus 1 to plus 1 but what we are doing here so we are restricting means a small portion we are considering to make it as both 1 1 and on top in that particular intervals only that given function y is equal to sin x is both 1 1 and on top so if i consider that minus pi by 2 2 plus pi by 2 2 range is minus 1 to 1 then only the function y is equal to sin x is both 1 1 and on top then here it is domain it, it becomes domain in that particular interval domain it is a range okay here function f from x to y we have written then for sin inverse here f inverse f inverse y to x will write okay then for sin inverse function what is the domain here minus 1 to plus 1 this is domain then range minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 okay so this is called principal valued branch principal valued branch of sine inverse function 
okay so it is inverse function for sin x okay principal value branch we can call for this sin inverse function okay it is domain it is range right then what will be the graph for this sin inverse function just you replace x by x axis and y axis interchanging x and y axis will get the graph for sin inverse function here it is y axis it is the x axis so here on x axis we will consider y axis on y axis we will consider x axis right so here we will get minus plus pi by 2 pi 3 pi by 2 2 pi downside minus pi by 2 minus 5 minus 3 pi by 2 then minus 2 pi so on x axis minus 1 here plus 1 here 0 so the graph will be yes so what will be the graph now minus 5 by 2 is there graph is increasing so 0 to get like this this is the graph for sin inverse function right like this will get but in this interval minus pi by 2 to if minus pi by 2 the value of sin inverse of x will be minus 1 here the curve shape will come ok so this is sin inverse function ok this is the principal principal value branch minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 the range sorry domain for sin inverse function is minus 1 to plus 1 closed interval ok then similarly we will consider cos x function y is equal to cos x the main thing here we are restricting we are restricting then only if if i consider y is equal to cos x if i consider y is equal to cos x if you restrict some intervals then only the function y is equal to cos x is both 1 1 and on top if it is both 1 1 and on top then only inverse will exist okay so what is the domain for cos x cos x function domain capital R set of real numbers then range range is here also minus 1 to plus 1 this is the domain and range of y is equal to cos x function then we will restrict it we will restrict from 0 to pi why we are considering 0 to pi so we will make the intervals so different intervals we will make from 0 to pi one interval or else pi to 2 pi another interval left hand side you can consider minus pi to 0 one interval ok so in this particular if I consider this interval the function is both 1 1 and on top if I consider this one also it is both 1 1 and on top so after this graph will repeat again so y values will repeat again so that's why 
so if it, the values of y are repeating again and again we can we cannot consider it as 1 1 definition fails here so if it is not 1 1 inverse does not exist to make it as inverse exists the function must be both 1 1 and on to see here so if i consider we are restricting the intervals we are considering the intervals 0 to pi pi 2 to pi anyone you can choose okay then here range is always minus 1 to plus 1 only zero to pi to minus one to plus one right now it is y is equal to sin x function we have considered for existing cos inverse x for existing cos inverse x domain will become range range will become domain okay so here it is domain we have considered so it is range then for this minus 1 to plus 1 is the domain for inverse function then it will become range 0 to 5 here it is for cos x actually cos x domain is capital R to make it as bisective we are restricting that domain so then only inverse will exist so for cos x function 0 to pi we have considered or else you can choose pi to 2 pi also you can choose no problem anyone so we'll write we'll consider 0 to pi this is called principal value branch for cos x principal value branch for cos inverse of x function okay so from minus 1 to plus 1 the values will be range 0 to 5 the values of cos inverse function so 0 to 5 only it will exist so similarly graph also you can consider cos function here we need to choose 0 to pi, 0 to 5, how the graph will be. Cos 0 is 1. Cos pi by 2, it is 0. The graph will be like this. like that we'll get but inverse is that we need to restrict it zero to pi so this is the graph for cos inverse function okay next next we'll go for tan function y is equal to tan x y is equal to tan x function then what is the domain here domain is capital r domain is capital r okay means tan x means we can write sin x divided by cos x sin x divided by cos x in which interval the function will not be defined in which point odd multiple of 90 degree if i consider odd multiple of 90 degree the function will not be defined so that what will consider domain here 
x such that x is equal to odd multiple of 90 degree 2n plus 1 into pi by 2 where n is an integer this is domain okay then range range is minus infinity to plus infinity minus infinity to plus infinity then to make it as or for existing inverse function we need to restrict it we need to restrict restriction means here we'll restrict the function from minus phi by 2 to plus phi by 2 then only we'll, we'll make these different parts here we'll consider the interval in this portion only the function is both 1 1 and auto in this portion or else in this portion only the function is both 1 1 and auto if you consider whole real line the function will not be both 1 1 and auto if it is not both 1 1 and auto inverse does not exist to make it as inverse existence so what we'll do we'll consider we'll restrict the domain okay so for that we'll restrict it so here for tan function we'll restrict from minus phi by 2 to plus phi by 2 minus phi by 2 to plus phi by 2 the range is capital R set of real numbers okay then for tan inverse what happens here tan inverse it is set of real number 2 here minus 5 by 2 to plus 5 by 2 minus 5 by 2 to plus 5 by 2 okay except here tan 0 right minus 5 by 2 to plus 5 by 2 range okay so it is principal value branch here okay in this interval inverse exists for the for tan function okay similarly cot also we can write for cot here 0 to pi will consider cot x means cos x by sin x then cot will be what is the domain for cot function domain is set of real numbers so minus of x such that x is equal to n pi where n is any integer but the range what is range range is again same minus infinity to plus infinity that is capital R set of real numbers okay then for cot inverse existence cot inverse will restrict so what is the restriction here 0 to pi open interval 0 to pi 2 sorry here it is capital R 2 open interval 0 to pi ok this is cot inverse this is tan inverse similarly so here we can call it as principal value branch for tan inverse similarly we can consider y is equal to cosec x y is equal to cosec x what is domain for cos x function domain is equal to r minus of same here denominator will be sin x no sin x means x such that x is equal to n phi where 
n belongs to z range range is minus infinity to minus 1 union plus 1 to plus infinity it is nothing but r minus of minus 1 to plus 1 okay so this is range this is domain then here also we need to restrict restriction here r minus minus 1 to plus 1 is domain for cosec x function to range will be this one but we are restricting that to minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 except 0 except 0 similarly for y is equal to sec x sec x means 1 by cos x we know domain domain means what all values we can substitute for x here r except x odd multiple of 90 degree x is equal to 2n plus 1 into pi by 2 where n belongs to z then range is same r minus of minus 1 to plus 1 ok so this is range then we will write the here it is cosec inverse here sec inverse will consider r minus of minus 1 to plus 1 is the domain then range is here we are restricting 0 to pi minus odd multiple of 90 degree here that is pi by 2 this is principal value branch this is principal value branch for cosec inverse here it is sec inverse ok so this is about domain and range for inverse trigonometric functions so this is very important to remember the domain and range for all the trigonometric inverse trigonometric functions ok so after this we will see some examples for finding the principal values ok so first of all we will once we will see the table table nodu na eeg nodri table heng irutthu na anthandre x ekade y irutthu na y anthandre y is equal to f of x suppose x values anna ili bari thahog chenna 0 pi by 6 pi by 4 pi by 3 pi by 2 table values gotthu da namal see ili y anthandre sin x sin sin 0 anthandre value 0 agatha sin pi by 6 anthandre 1 by 2 agatha here 1 by root 2 agatha idu root 3 by 2 agatha idu 0 agatha correct ah idu sin 0 how you read this sin 0 sin 0 is equal to 0 sin pi by 6 is equal to 1 by 2 correct ah sin pi by 4 is equal to 1 by root 2 like this will get ok for inverse anthandaga let us consider this so this is y y is equal to sin pi by 6 is there ok so in place of y 1 by 2 is there correct y is equal to sin x if i want inverse then take this sine function to left hand side which implies 
साइन इनवर्स ऑफ वाई इज इक्वल टू एक्स फ्लैट ओके हेगा यह कड़े लेफ्ट हैंड सैड मलटिप्लिकेशन आ कड़े हाद्रे डिवीजन आगे बहुत इनवर्स आपरेशन पॉजिटिव आ कड़े हाद्रे नगटिव आगत आर इले वाईज ईक्वल टू ये सैन फंक्षन इज दईन फंक्षन कड़े तक इनवर्स आगत ओके सो लाइक दैट इफ ई रईट इयर यह सैन फंक्षन आ कड़े हाद्रे पै वाय सिक्स ईज ईक्वल टू सैन इनवर्स आफ वन बै टू आगत सिमिलरली नोड़ी फै वाय फोर आज इट इस इज ईक्वल टू सैन फंक्षन आ कड़े वही ऐन सैन इनवर्स आफ फै बै फोर आगत रईट इू हे आगत इले सेम इीरो जीरो डिफ्रेंस ऐन जीरो सैन इनवर्स आफ जीरो सैन फै बै थ्री इज ईक्वल टू रूट थ्री बै टू अदन आव रूट थ्री बै टू ऐन फै बै थ्री सो फै बै थ्री इज ईक्वल टू सैन इनवर्स आफ रूट थ्री बै टू वन बै रूट टू रूट थ्री बै टू ओके सो ई ता इनवर्स फंक्षनस चेंज आगता टू फैंड दि प्रिंसिपल व्याल्यू ब्रांच विल सी सम एक्सापल सिमिलरली का एक्स आलो हियर का एक्स इज दैर का जीरो इज वन इट इस रूट थ्री बै टू इट इस वन बै रूट टू इट इस वन बै टू इट इस जीरो इट इस वन सारी ओके का सिक्स फंक्षन तक ऐन नोड़ कॉस जीरो इज ईक्वल टू वन अल सो जीरो इज ईक्वल टू ऐन कॉस इनवर्स आफ वन सो इत आंगल इू वैल्यू आस फाइव वाई सिक्स इज ईक्वल टू टू थ्री बै टू आई विच इंप्ल फै बै सिक्स इज ईक्वल टू का इनवर्स आफ रूट थ्री बै टू टेबल व्याल्यू सो इनवर्स बरदा इनवर्स आफ दिस फंक्षन अदर व्याल्यू ऐन फै बै सिक्स आई अद का इनवर्स आफ रूट थ्री बै टू बरद्रे इट्स व्याल्यू विल फै बै सिक्स आगे सो का इनवर्स आफ वन बै रूट टू इतने इट्स व्याल्यू इस फै बै फोर आगे सिमिलरली सैन सिमिलरली फै बै थ्री ओके हाँ का फै बै फोर इज ईक्वल टू वन बै रूट टू इत सो विच इंप्ल फै बै फोर इज ईक्वल टू का इनवर्स आफ वन बै रूट टू का फै बै थ्री इट्स व्याल्यू इस वन बै टू इत विच इंप्ल दैट फै बै थ्री इज ईक्वल टू का इनवर्स आफ वन बै टू आते लास्ट वन का फै बै टू इट्स व्याल्यू इस जीरो विच इंप्ल फै बै टू इज ईक्वल टू का इनवर्स आफ जीरो दीजर दि व्याल्यूज ओके सो फॉर आल टिग्नोमेट्रिक फंक्षन वी कैन रईट दि इनवर्स बै यूसिंग दि टेबल व्याल्यूज ओके सो प्रिंसिपल व्याल्यूव फैंड वि शुड नो दि रेज फॉर् इनवर्स आल इनवर्स टिग्नोमेट्रिक फंक्षन ओके बेस्ड आन दैट वि कैन रईट दि प्रिंसिपल व्याल्यू ब्रांच ओके ना Similarly, for tan, sec, cosec, also we can write. So let us consider the example.
let us take a table for domain and range for sine inverse function so domains here it is domain it is range then let us consider this it is very important domain is minus 1 to plus 1 then range is closer interval minus 5 i 2 to plus 5 i 2 cos inverse here also minus 1 to plus 1 then range is close interval 0 to 5 tan inverse it is capsule r 2 open interval minus 5 by 2 to plus 5 by 2 then cot inverse capsule r here open interval 0 to 5 range then next sec inverse sec inverse it is r minus of minus 1 to plus 1 then range for sec inverse is 0 to pi close interval minus of pi by 2 then cosec inverse r minus of minus 1 to 1 range is pi minus 5 by 2 to plus 5 by 2 minus of 0 so these are these are the domains these are the range of the inverse trigonometric functions okay so we need to remember these six trig inverse trigonometric functions domain and range for solving the examples they are very helpful so let us consider the example find the principal value of find the principal value of find the principal value of sin inverse of 1 upon root 2 is there so this is an example sin inverse of 1 by root 2 is there okay so we need to find the principal value principal value means this is principal principal value branch okay here we, here sin inverse function they have used for that we'll consider sin inverse function this is principal valued branch so whatever the value will write for this one that must be existing between minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 close interval okay so that sin inverse we know the table value uh, sin inverse of 1 by root 2 antandre 1 by root 2 yavag bartada angle est irbeku 1 by root 2 5 by 4 okay so check that 5 by 4 whether it is lies between minus 5 by 2 to plus 5 by 2 yes okay you can write it as belongs to minus 5 by 2 to plus 5 by 2 so this is answer 5 by 4 okay so let us consider one more example same find the principal value of cot inverse cot inverse of minus 1 by root 3 next example principal value of cot inverse of minus 1 by root 3 here minus inside here minus is there so if it is minus we'll write here pi minus of cot inverse of 1 upon 2 3 will write okay which is equal to here minus sign because cot of minus theta cot of minus theta is equal to sorry cot cot of minus theta is equal to minus sorry pi minus cot theta so like that we'll write here 
cot inverse of 1 minus 1 by root 3 is equal to pi minus cot inverse of 1 by root 3 pi minus. Cot inverse of 1 by root 3 means how much? 1 upon root 3 cot inverse which angle? Pi by 3. Okay. Which is equal to 3. 2 pi by 3. 2 pi by 3 check whether it is lies between 0 to pi is it right this is the principal value branch for cot inverse function so that 2 pi by 3 belongs to that open interval 0 to pi right like that we can write the examples so let us consider the exercise all right exercise 2.1 Exercise 2.1 First example here find the principal values find the principal values principal value branch principal value branch so here PAL it is not PLE principal value branch PAL you make it principal value of the following in that first one sine inverse of minus 1 by 2 sine inverse of minus 1 by 2 so, sine of minus theta is equal to minus sine theta we can write. So, like that here also sine inverse of minus 1 by 2 means minus sine keep it outside sine inverse of 1 by 2 what we get minus sine pi by pi by 6. So check whether minus 5 by 6 is lies between the range of sine inverse function. What is the range of sine inverse function? Closed interval minus 5 by 2 to plus pi by 2. So that pi by minus 5 by 6 is existing between minus 5 by 2 to plus pi by 2. This is the principal value. Second one, cos inverse of root 3 by 2 cos inverse of root 3 by 2 here cos inverse here positive is there directly we can write cos inverse of root 3 by 2 table value we know root 3 by 2 means what we can write pi by pi by 6 right check whether that pi by 6 is lies between the range of cos inverse function principal value branch yes 0 to 5 okay this is 5 by 6 third one cosec inverse of 2 cosec inverse of 2 okay cosec inverse means you can write it as 1 by sine inverse of 2 cosec inverse the value 1 by 2 means 5 by 6 only what is the range of cosec inverse range of cosec inverse will write closed interval pi by 2 to minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 yes minus of 0 ok this pi by 6 is existing between these two right so answer is 5 by 6 next fourth one tan inverse of minus root 3 tan inverse of minus root 3 tan inverse is there we cannot consider pi minus theta here we will consider minus tan theta that's why here minus of tan inverse of root 3 
is equal to root 3 means 5 by it is also 5 by 6 sorry 5 by 3 will 5 by 3 will come check whether what is the range range of tan inverse function is minus 5 by 2 to plus 5 by 2 is existing between minus 5 by 2 to plus 5 by 2 so this is the answer similarly you can write you can solve this example cos inverse of minus 1 by 2 here we will consider pi minus of cos inverse of 1 by 2 solve this next sixth one tan inverse of minus 1 tan inverse of minus 1 solve these examples take it as homework sec inverse of 2 by root 3 8th one cot inverse of root 3 9th one cos inverse of minus 1 by 2 sorry 1 by root 2 simplify this and tenth one cosec inverse of minus root 2 same as sign ok so these examples and remaining examples we will see in the next period ok thank you